Howdy folks, Campfire Kodiak here. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for the plow point tarp configuration. This is one of my favorite tarp configurations and um, as long as the weather isn't too extreme it works really good for spending the night. I've camped under here with my bivy. Now I recently um, took a couple of tarps down to the south end of Kodiak on a deer hunt and we had 20 to 25 mile an hour winds. We're out in the field and I had a lot of issues with, uh, with my tarp flapping around and um, I came up with some ideas to address that. So as soon as I got home I sewed on some additional loops. So I already had this loop right here in the middle of the tarp. I sewed on an additional one halfway down. This section right here was sagging and flapping a lot. So now what I do is I tie a line from here to here and you can tie off with just a single line up to a tree. As you can see, there's a lot more room in here. And it just tightens things up really nice so they're not flapping in the wind. One of the um, issues I was having was I was trying to cook right here. It was so windy, this was the only place where I could use my cook stove. And so I shoved it under here and this was so low that I was concerned about the, um, the tarp catching on fire. And, and so by um, being able to elevate this, that worked really good. Now, let's say you don't have any um, trees handy. I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks on how you can get around that. But if you don't have any trees around, get the part of the float float plane take them out. You can get a couple of poles like this. And you can just tie this off right to here. And then bring the line down, the cord down to a stake. And um, I was actually doing that out, at, out in the field last week and it worked really good. I'm going to show you um, another option. We're going to take this tarp and we're going to flip it so that these loops are on the inside. And I'm going to show you another way to be able to support the tarp. So I'm just tying this, this pole here, just using a square knot. And now I'm going to uh, flip the tarp over. Okay, so I cut this pole right here, this Y Y branch. Make sure that this isn't too long. You don't want this touching the tarp. And we have our pole 
that is tied onto the tarp in two different locations, and then I use this to support it. So, in theory, this should support it nicely, just like that. And as you can see, this has just as much room as the other method. And the nice, nice thing about this is uh, you don't have to worry about having a tree up there. So this pole right here supports this tarp along this full length and it um, reduces any chafing. I think this is far superior to having um, a pole with a sock on the end that you put in the middle like you see a lot of people do. So this is a technique that I like to use and it's really sturdy. It can handle a lot of wind. Um, you have to kind of watch out for this, uh, this pole right here. So the other method gives you a little bit more room for sleeping, but there's, there's plenty of room to be able to fit in here. You could have one person on each side. And I think it could handle a lot of wind. I like it. So anyways, those are a couple of tips that I wanted to show you. One more tip that I wanted to show you. If you really want to make this tarp bomber proof, let's say you got some excessive winds, you can get another pole and tie it on right here and guy it out with a stake down here. I have this in the middle, but you could put it anywhere. You could put it here or here or even up here. And I would recommend uh, putting one on the other side as well. And this, this will go a long ways for preventing this tarp from flapping. Another thing is, a lot of times when a tarp is flapping, you know, it may not be in danger of ripping and there may not be anything wrong with it, but it's noisy and it can be really annoying when you're trying to sleep or just trying to relax. So having a tarp that isn't flapping in the wind all the time is really nice. And these are some, some tips that you can do to avoid that. So make sure you check out my other video on uh, the double plow point design. So what I do is I take two of these tarps and put them together but I'm not gonna cover that in this video, so make sure you check that one out. And as always, I will see you on my next adventure. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Nice little rainbow, very cool.